Hello watchers. Today I've got September's Arts Next Plus unboxing and art challenge. Um, let's dive straight in and get this open. Um, I did order the Inktober box as well, but that has yet to arrive. Um, it's currently in Tokyo, so I don't know how it's gone from Chicago <laughs> to Tokyo to hopefully England. Um, I have let Art Snacks know and they've said there's nothing they can do, let's give it another week. If it's not here in a week, then they'll send me another one out. Um, so we'll see how that goes, plays out. Oh, this looks so pretty. So it reminds me of um, the Ferris Wheel Press, but this I know is hot pressed. Yeah, I, I do love me some hot pressed paper. I do, I do, I do. Let's just get the plastic off this stuff. That is smooth. But yeah, it's not like super, 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 super smooth. I think the back side's smoother, but I, apparently the water doesn't hold as well on the back side, so. Yeah, it's gonna be nice to play with that. And then let's just get rid of the box. There's our little green burrito, as somebody said. Alright, so we've got some Emmett Everfine Mitsubishi Pencil. Everfine, fine liners, not pencils. It's just the company. Oh, I think I've seen these ones. These ones actually come in their own little stand, which is quite cool. Um, ever find five colours? Is it not like a a set like watercolours? But I think these are pastely colours. Um, then we've got our jaw buster, sweetie. Let's open this up. goodies have we got so first of all we've got a fiber castile polychromos in blue cold back blue then we've got a pigma micron 02 I love these the only th problem I have found with microns is the ink doesn't last very long I don't know why or it might be just me I'm overusing it then we've got a Posca, 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 Blue. Ah, it's a brush pen. The only other brush, Posca brush I've got is the white one. So that's in a blue, so I've got a very blue box. Um, and orange, blue and orange. Um, so this is a Karateki Combo Tambian in Cadmium Scarlet. Let's open this up. I do like a lot of the um, Karataki sort of stuff with the brush pens and the paints, the gouache paints that they do, the big pans. So it's a uh, nylon fiber, but it's quite a chunky pen. So is this paint or is this or is it ink? I think it's ink. Ink, 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 ink. And then of course we've got our Art Snacks sticker. Which is very sporty. So let's just do that. So, okay, let's read what it says on the menu. So, hang on, what did we get for the plus box? The plus box is five, five pens and the paper. 
and the bonus art prompt when I can speak is not only are markers great for drawing and colouring, they're perfect for bullet journaling too. Add some colourful flourishes to your sketchbook papers, calendars and daily notes. So it's not really a prompt as in here's a word, draw something about it. But that's fine. That is fine. Then Karataki brush pen. Brush on some major colour with this Gary brush pen. It is water based pigment ink. So it is ink. Um, will make your calligraphy and illustrations pop. Unlike other brush pens, you don't need to press the body of this pen to get the ink to flow. Right, so it's not squishy. Um, to use, twist off the pen nib, remove the yellow ink. Then we've got the uh, brush, the polychromos, and the micro. And then obviously take the Art Snacks Challenge, which is basically use all of the things in the box. So, let's swatch some of this stuff out. Um, right, how do we open this? So, take off the yellow. Whoop. And that yellow and then put that on screw that on now what <laughs> open close twist oh So how do you get it? How do you get the ink to flow? What do, what does it say? What does it say? Um, to use, twist off the pen nib, remove the yellow ring. Yep. Remove the yellow cap. Yep. And then retwist the nib onto the back. The ink will slowly flow into the bristles after a couple of minutes. Uh, okay. Oh, actually. Oh yeah. It is actually starting to do it very slowly. See, does the stripe at the moment? Yeah. So I'll leave that. Can we leave that standing up? Yep. <clears throat> Just put those to the side. We don't need my knife anymore. Um, I think first impressions, my the product I'm most excited for is the paper. I love me some hot press paper. Because we always get cold press. So yeah. All right, so micron, of course, it's just the micron pen. These are iCavel ink and waterproof as well when you give them a few minutes to dry. But I'm impatient, so that very rarely work. Very rarely works out. Oh, this is smooth. These are really smooth. These are nice. I can understand why people go crazy about um, these um, polychromos. Are these water soluble? We'll give it a go in a second to see what that's about. Let's get this pen working. <coughs> so brush. Right, yeah. Give it a good shake and then take the cap off and give it a few pumps. Got to pump it up. Is, is it because Poscas are confusing because they sometimes say that it's an acrylic marker, then they say it's water based. Um, our love by artists can it is essential to self expression. This popular paint marker contains opaque water based pigment ink that writes on all types of surfaces. Hmm, all right, so it says paint and then ink, so I still none the wiser. But let's get this thing flowing. Ooh. 
it's a bit see what that's like with water in a second. Um, it's pumped now. Come on, you know you want to flow. So I've got a very blue and orange palette with some pastels. This definitely feels different to the Posca. The Posca feels quite thick Whereas this feels more like ink. So, yeah. It feels really nice though. I don't know why I always have to do dots, but I do. Fills the page quite nicely as well. <coughs> so that's those. Um, let's just give the markers, ooh. Oi! That did not want to let go. Oh wow, I thought it was going to be like scratchy, but it's not. It's really smooth. But these are super duper fine liners. Do these have colors on them? No colours. Unless the numbers mean different colours. Oh, look at that blue. That is a nice blue. going to add some water to some of this stuff and see what we get. So once the ink's dry it doesn't really want to play, nor does the Posca, the Sakura, we know that's pretty much waterproof. What about the pencil crane? Mm, drags a little bit but definitely not a water um, soluble pencil. How about these guys? Yeah, they, they, they pick up, they move around. That's all right. Now, I have seen, um, I've forgotten the chap's name, but he does, he does the new style of unboxing videos for Art Snacks, James something. And he uses these pens like watercolors on a palette. So I'm going to give that a go and also putting some of the paint down of Posca because we know we can do it with the Poscas. So let's see if we can paint this way. And I think he also does it with a pencil as well, does he do it with a pencil? such strange colours. Really dark tones and then really light ones, but hey ho, let's give them a whirl. 
Oh, so. Oh, that is nice. So you can get a really nice watercolor effect with these pens. Pens. Um, and using the ink that way. So you can get really light, delicate wash with those. That's quite nice. And then with the Pascas, again, we can use them like a, a wash, a watercolor wash. And then the ink. Nice teal blue there that we get with the when you mix them together. a little bit but not fabulously well and I think it's staying in my palette but yeah that's okay I really like these colors together when they're watered down they are nice is there a way you can take the lid off and get more ink in one thing no <laughs> So what am I going to do with this stuff? I mean, I'm guessing it'll be some sort of watercolour. Not sure how though. What can I draw? Because there's such strange colours. paper's really nice. It's handling the water quite well. I've not put the water on too heavy, but this doesn't seem to be buckling too much or anything. It seems to be handling it quite well. And the colours are coming on the sheet the way I like them, which is nice and flat. Um, I think I said this to someone online that, you know, I, I prefer hot press paper and I think it's because I come from a very graphical background as opposed to arty if that's the word you're supposed to use um, so I think that's why I like the nice flat sort of bold colors um, which is why I think I shy away from wood colors and things because it's just there's a little bit of color there but I want more <laughs> you know so I, I, I think that's why I tend to like inks and gouache more than watercolors but yeah I'm gonna to have to seriously think about this one. I know I probably say that in every box, but about what we're gonna do here. But we've got a nice big surface to work on as well, so. I don't know, I will have to have a think. So it'll only be a moment for you guys, but probably quite well for me. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so just before I get into what I'm gonna be doing, I just wanna run down the prices of these things. Uh, packaging. Manuals. A little sticker, we'll stick that under the clock. Um, so, the paper, the Canson Heritage Cold Hot Press is 14 pounds and 90 pence in the UK from Jackson's. And then the Emot pen set is 4.99. Um, so basically a pound each um, from Colt Pens. And then the Karateki brush pen is six pounds and 34 pence from Amazon. And the Pasca brush is pretty much a standard price everywhere, which is 3.99. Um, and then the Fiber Castell Polychromos is one pound and seventy pence each, open stock on Jackson's Art. And then the Micron um, Pigma is three pounds and ninety eight pence. So 
for this box in its entirety, I paid £38.55. and pence. Um, And then the total items come to £35.90. and pence. So I'm losing £2.65. But that's not too, too bad. Um, because sometimes it gets made up in other boxes. So, you know, it, it, I find that it's always swings and roundabouts. And plus, some of this stuff might be more expensive in the States. So, you know, you just don't know. Um, we do get job busters as well in the UK, but we call them gobstoppers. <laughs> um, fun fact for possibly some Americans that don't know that. Um, yeah, gob, by the way, is your mouth. It's, it's like, you know, you shut your gob up, like you stop talking sort of thing. So, yeah, so a gob stopper is stopping your mouth from speaking because you're sucking on one of these. Um, this is just a sample page that I did before, but I've obviously played a little bit more and I really do like this effect that we can get, which is basically just add water and then flick paint onto it. Um, but with these Emmet pens, I want to use them like watercolours. Um, and I didn't realise <laughs> that this is actually pretty much the same, well not the same colours, but almost the same colours of a facade of a building I designed. So I'm going to do a render of that building that I've designed. Um, a theoretical project, of course. I'm not that famous of an architect to have a building built like this yet. Um, so I've quickly sketched, well not quickly, it took me a while because I'm drawing from my imagination. So I'm still looking at it and I'm thinking the perspectives are still a little bit off. Um, I do struggle with perspectives quite a bit. Um, but I don't know, I think it kind of works. So. We'll see how it goes. I'll just do a, a, a close-up of the sketch because I don't think it's showing up because it is quite a light sketch. And obviously the light that I've got coming from this window, I think it's blocking it a little bit. So just close up there. Um, it is going to be sort of watercolorish, but at the same time, I don't want to do it realistic. I want to sort of just hint at the colors um, and the t hopefully the textures. Um, but yeah. So I've got my little water pots here and a couple of palettes and some paint brushes. I also need my little squirty water thingy. This squirty water thingy, <laughs> which is just a blending mist uh, from Tombow, but you know, any spray little bottle will do. It's just got water in it. Um, so yeah, let's get started. All right, I think I'm done for this session. Um, there's part of me that wants to go around the circles in the black, but I think that might be too much, but uh, see how I feel in a day or two. If I've forgotten about it, it's fine, but if not, I'll go over it and then <clears throat> I'll post an image on my Instagram as well. If you guys wanna um, see if I do it or not. Um, but yeah, this was a, challenging box um, the things I love from this box is the paper but 
the paper does tear up a little bit with washi so if you're not someone that uses washi tape that's fine but for a cold uh, hot press paper I love it um, I like how the watercolors well they're not watercolors the bends have laid down on the paper um, and the micron works really well because on some papers you get a drag with the microns but this was super duper smooth um, the Faber-Castell polychromos went on the paper um, super smooth I just used them to sort of show the glazing of the building um, the ink and the Poscas are obviously really vibrant and bright but with the pens I was trying to keep it quite like a watercolour piece um, without going too heavy with the colours which is very much unlike me I like bold colours um, but yeah I thought I'd just add this square of a blue sky to give it some context and also make it look more graphic as well um, but yeah I really enjoyed this box it was a challenge and it really got me scratching my head a little bit but once I figured out Dumbo that I could use my fa facade of the building are pretty much the same colours because they're like iridescent um, solar panel discs um, that cover the building um, once I figured that out I was like oh yeah I could do that but these colours are not quite what they should be but again very limited on the palette so but overall I'm quite pleased with it um, so yeah if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and please share my video with people that you think might like my stuff um, that would be very much appreciated um, the next video should actually be my inktober box <laughs> hoping that it arrives in time um, for the net for me to film it and, and upload it for next week um, it's too late for inktober now but <laughs> um, I'll do an unboxing video and probably share my thoughts on what I'm gonna do for inktober um, on that video um, yeah so I hope you enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching um, in the meantime Happy architecting!